back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jelen. Here's a question that came in during one of our Power Excel seminars. A person said, I get a data set from someone and it has four columns and I go through all the time and add three new columns. So basically I'm adding three new columns out here, new one, new two, and new three. But he said, what's interesting about this data set is that they repeat the headings throughout the data. Um, every time the group number changes, there's a new set of headings. And now I would never set data up that way, but that's the way this is set up and he wanted to make sure that his headings got copied down throughout the data wherever there's a new set of headings and of course in this 150 page document that would be very very tedious to go through and copy and paste these headings to all of those different rows so we took a look at the report the first thing that I saw was that there's headings in row 2 and a title in row 1 and my trick would not work with those two rows adjacent to each other so I went to row 2 and I said we're going to insert a row um, basically to keep the data apart and then I'm going to turn on the auto filter. So we'll go to data, filter, auto filter, and we'll get the little drop down headings on each of our cells. I asked him, and I said, well, this heading that's here in column B, the customer heading, does that appear anywhere else? You don't have any values in customer B that would just say customer. And he said, no. So I now go to the heading and I say, all right, I want to see all the rows that have the word customer. Basically, this now gets me just the headings from the whole data set. So now I'll go over to my new headings, new one, new two, new three, and we'll copy those to the clipboard um, and select all of these cells here next to our headings. Now this won't quite do it. We actually have to select the visible cells only. That's edit, go to special visible cells only, okay. Or we can just hold down the alt key, alt semicolon, we'll select the visible cells only. Now when I paste, control V to paste, um, those headings are added to just the visible cells, which happen to be just the heading cells. Now we'll go back and ask to see all values. So I'll choose all from the customer dropdown, turn off the auto filter, data filter, auto filter again, and sure enough, we've added the new headings all the way down through our data set. Fairly complicated. If this is something you need to do, of course, you can click replay and watch that one again. Um, the real trick is the alt semicolon to select the visible cells only. Great question, a little bit tricky, had to do with several different things, including the important one of making sure there was a blank row between the title and the headings. Otherwise, the auto filler wouldn't work. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.